Lay out all pump components, pipes and the rope neatly on the ground. Place the rubber seal over the anchor bolts before mounting the pump stand. Mount the pump stand flange and tighten the nuts with a spanner. Roughen the end of the cylinder pipe using the hacksaw or rough sandpaper. All pipe ends should be marked with a marker four and a half inches from the end. Cleaning fluid is applied to the bell end of the suction pipe. Followed by solving cement. Then apply solving cement to the end of the cylinder pipe. Push firmly to join the pipe ends. Insert the pump rod with the plunger into the cylinder pipe. Place a rubber centralizer on the cylinder pipe right below the line mark. Align the centralizer grooves with a 10 mm hole in the suction pipe. Insert one end of the rope into the hole and pull it through the pipe. Place the rubber seal onto the hook end of the next pump rod. Insert the hook end horizontally into the eye of the plunger rod. Turn the horizontal rod upwards so the connection is exactly in line and tight. Prepare the next riser pipe by roughing the ends applying cleaning fluid and then solvent cement. Apply solvent cement to the end of the cylinder pipe. Connect the riser pipe to the cylinder pipe and press hard to make a tight connection. Using the rope, you now lower the whole riser main assembly into the well. When you reach the rubber centralizer, insert the rope into the grooves and continue lowering the pipe. Insert another rubber centralizer at the top of the riser pipe. Align the grooves with the rope and insert the rope. Attach one end of the rope to one of the eyes under the cone flange. Now slide the cone flange with the rope end attached over the riser pipe and continue lowering the whole unit until the cone flange rests on the pump stand. Keep the loose rope end tight and make sure it's inserted into the centralizer groove. Prepare the next riser pipe with roughing and cleaning fluid. Okay. Insert another rubber seal on the hook end of the pump rod. Insert the hook horizontally into the eye of the already installed pump rod and turn it upwards so the connection is tight and the rods exactly in line. Insert the next riser pipe over the pump rod and apply solvent cement to both pipe ends. Connect the pipes and press hard to ensure the connection is firm and tight. Continue this process with more pump rod and riser pipe lengths until the full well depth is reached.
When the whole riser assembly stands on top of the foot valve, make a mark in the riser pipe at the top of the cone flange and lift the riser assembly so a new mark can be made 14 inches beneath it. Now cut the open end of the rope and attach it to the other eye under the cone flange. Tighten the nut securely. Align the bolt holes of the cone flange with the ones of the pump stand. Apply a cleaning fluid to the inner of the rubber cone and to the top of the riser assembly pipe. Slide the rubber cone over the riser pipe until it sits at the 14 inch mark you just made. Lower the complete assembly until the rubber cone rests in the cone flange. Using the top sleeve as a measure, make a mark above the rubber cone and cut the riser pipe at the mark. Prepare the riser pipe end with roughening, cleaning fluid and solvent cement. We also want to avoid uh, gum from touching the plug. And do the same with the inside of the top sleeve. Slide the top sleeve over the pump rod and onto the top of the riser pipe. Cut the surplus of the riser pipe so it aligns with the top of the top sleeve. Slide the cup seal over the riser pipe and let it rest on the top. Install the pump head and insert the bolts. Insert one hand into the pump bed and grab the pump rod at the top end of the riser main pipe and use the thumb to keep the exact measurement. Don't lose grip of the pump rod as you lift the complete pump rod assembly by one meter. Cut the pump rod at the position of your thumb. Mount the rod hanger onto the end of the pump rod. Make sure the rod end is fully inserted and the hexagonal bolt is tightened securely. Insert the spanner handle into the bush on top of the rod hanger and lower the complete pump rod assembly until the spanner handle is resting in the two slots in the pump head. Insert the bearing into the rod hanger. Insert the plastic bearings first from one side, then from the other, making sure the lugs are located in the slots of the hanger push. After that. Prior to inserting the handle, a simple one bearing set with a fulcrum pin and insert it into the housing of the handle front. From the other side, attach the second bearing set, making sure the lugs are located in the slots. Loosen both side bolts a bit. Insert the handle front carefully into the slots of the fulcrum bracket. Adjust the lock pins of the rod hanger assembly so the handle can grip the rod hanger. Remove the spanner handle when the rod assembly hangs securely. Tighten all handle bolts. Tighten the bolts of the pump head. Fix the pump cover and tighten the cover bolt. The hand pump is now ready for test pumping.